hello friends welcome to testing shala youtube channel in this video i am going to discuss about test plan test plan is an test deliverables and it is a key document which will be prepared to start any testing project before proceeding to understand more about test plan if you visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that help you to enhance your testing skills so let's understand what is all about test plan deliverables why why do we use test plan and when when do we use test plan so let's go in depth in understanding what is all about test plan so test plan is a key test deliverables which normally we use to create in the beginning of the testing project so we will be using test deliverables as a we'll use this test deliverable for planning purposes so basically the test plan will have many items in the document so i'm going to explain you each and every item what we are going to define how we are going to define what are the benefits of each sections in the test plan so let's move on to understand what are the various uh, ingredients of the test plan one is the scope here so we are going to define the test plan scope to clearly ca calling out what is the really the scope of this test plan what all the things you will be covering as part of testing this project what is in scope or what is in not in scope everything will be clearly documented because this document is created it will get reviewed from the all the stakeholders and they get it signed for this document because there should not be any ambiguity in terms of scope perspective we have to clearly define what is the scope of our test plan and again we should be very clear what is the object which we are going to achieve out of this uh, testing so that's where the objective will come into picture and the next item which we are going to define in the test plan is approach to the testing so basically we will be clearly calling out what kind of testing will be performing what are the different types of testing we are going to perform what is the our approach to test these various types of testing everything will be clearly documented sometime we will also be looked into that organization level test strategy to see whether something is already covered at the organization level uh, te uh, test approach then we'll just inherit those things in our test plan you may not be going to define everything but we'll just give a reference to the testing strategy so you can refer the testing strategy test deliverable in my earlier videos so let's move on to understand the second item which we are going to document in the test plan is people who all the people going to work in this testing project what all the, what kind of resources are required what kind of levels are required what kind of experience required everything will be defining in the test plan basically we will be clearly calling out entire uh, the organization chart will be going to work in the testing project so that is all about the people people where they are going to work and the environment details so especially this environment details will be clearly calling out to what kind of uh, environment we are going to certify the product or an application this is very crucial because if you are not going to do the testing on the required environment then whatever the testing we are going to do which is of a wastage only so hence we should clearly work with the stakeholders to validate so whatever the environment details we are going to put it in this test plan same environment we are going to set up for the testing purpose and all the new builds or new code will be getting builds will getting to to deploy in this environment to certify the product or an application that is another items we are going to clearly calling out in the test plan 
The third item we are going to clearly calling out is tools that would be used in the testing. So we'll clear we'll be clearly calling out what kind of tools will be used for test management, especially test management. It could be our test cases tracking, our our review of test cases tracking, defect management tracking. All this will come under test management tools. And we clearly we need to clearly call that out. What kind of tools we are going to use for the test management and also if we, if there is any scope for automation or performance test then we have to clearly get a buy in from all the stakeholders what are the tools we are going to adopt and what would be the budget recommend to take up these tools for your project so that also be clearly going to be defined in this document and the dependencies and dependencies and risk so we'll have to clearly articulate what are the various dependencies for the testing which you are going to operate in that current product and application and how you are going to reduce those dependencies as much as possible that we have to clearly articulate in our test plan and also we will have to showcase the risk we have to keep, we have to have a proper thought process about the testing project and we should come up with a risk assessment we should do a risk assessment and come up with a risk which will be getting going to pop up when we are executing this testing project then you should also come up with a risk mitigation plan and we should also assign all the stakeholders who is going to support in resolving this risk so that all the relevant stakeholders are well aware of the situation and also they will be in contact with you to resolve those risks as and when those risks become reality so those things also we are going to clearly document in the test plan within a table format where we talk about risk risk name mitigation plan if any and uh, date by when we are going to resolve this issue who is the owner of the uh, risk everything will be clearly documented in the test plan so then let's move on to the next item which is categorization of the defect so th that also we are going to clearly call out in a test plan this is how we are going to adopt the defect management and this is how we are going to bifurcate the defects and under various categories so everything will be documented in the test plan the next item we are going to track in the test plan is entry and exit criteria this is very crucial uh, entry in the test plan which clearly tells about when we are going to st uh, start the testing and when you are going to end the testing so this en test entry and exit criteria is applicable for every level of testing every level of testing is nothing but unit testing when we are entering into unit testing we will be following entry exit criteria unit when the unit testing is completed then we talk about exit criteria of unit testing in the similar way for integration testing also we are going to have entry and exit criteria for system testing and acceptance testings for all the these four levels of testing we clearly document what is our entry and exit criteria that is an entry which are clearly going to define and we also get it reviewed from the all the stakeholders and if there is any changes to this exit and entry criteria then it will be discussed and updated accordingly in the test plan as agreed with the all the stakeholders the next item which are going to tra track in test plan is test metrics so basically this is very important for the stakeholders especially senior leadership team and they would like to know the testing progress for the project and what are the things they look just to see whether the testing is going in a right direction or not so the test matrix will give enough indications how we are moving from beginning to the end of the release that is also we are going to clearly call out in the test matrix then the next uh, item would be test reporting and communication process so basically the test reporting we are going to clearly define the daily status report weekly status report 
So, what all the different uh, parameters we are going to report to the stakeholders? Those things will be clearly documenting in the test reporting, and also we will also going to define a communication process. In the communication process, we clearly document what would be our frequency of the meetings, what all the things we need to communicate, what all the crucial things we will have to put in communication model, whether the meeting will happen, information should pass on to via emails or meeting should be held uh, daily meetings or weekly meetings, everything will be documented in the test plan. That is all about the communication process. The last item which would be in the test plan would be the last item in the test plan which is more on the schedules and milestones. Cleared about the schedules or milestones, we clearly document what is our schedule. The schedule, let's say a schedule is a six months duration and six months duration will be further split into milestones. Further split into milestones and we clearly detailing out what would be each milestone and what are we going to achieve out of these each milestones. That helps everybody to understand what are we going to really achieve from the testing perspective on each uh, milestones. I hope you understood what all the ingredients of the test plan and you understood each and every aspect what all the things we are going to define in the test plan. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and also you learned about uh, the detailed aspects of a test plan. If you like this video, please click on like button and if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.